I'm Lydia Kenny. The runner-up in the total clicks category for Hardcore Iron Man, I have the record for the highest XP gained in a single day at 22 million and the most Hydra kills in a year for Hardcore Iron Man. Today we're taking a closer look at my progress over the past month. I've been using the website Temple to track my stats as it offers a wide range of categories including some truly unique and random statistics. And if you're like me and enjoy keeping your stats up to date, the XP Updater plugin in Runelite makes it easy to track your progression automatically. 30 days ago, I uploaded my yearly bank video and showed off my 60 million XP herb tab, which is enough to reach 99 herb almost 5 times over. Now I want to share with you what I've used up so far and what progress I've made in the first month of 2023. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to remind everyone that if we manage to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, I'll go to the Theater of Blood and set my sights on obtaining the Verzik pet. So make sure to subscribe if you enjoy that, and leave a like if you enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. As I'm recording this, it is February the 2nd, and that means we are one month already into 2023. So I think what I'll do every month, if I... Uh, keep to it. Every month I'll make a video based off the progress from the last month. I'll basically do a little review where I go over the last 30 days and we see exactly what I've been working on and you know what what I have so far accomplished. Now currently in game I'm making ranging pots and I'll go I'll show you a little bit of the bank and what we've been up to here and what we've used up so far. So the irits are all gone. If you remember from the bank video, we had 80,000, 82,000 irit pots all gone. I'm down to 27 irits. And as well as quorum is gone. We've used all of our, uh, we've, we've used all of our quorum because we had enough limp roots. So irit pots, quorum pots done, as well as catentines are about half done. Ran out of white berries, lantodimes, ran out of potato cactus. So those, those herbs are all done until I get more secondaries. The big one we still have to do is the 25, 26,000 toad flax, 25,000 snap dragons, and then all of the torstals. And then we have farmed some more renar seeds this month, so we have more renars to do as well. And in terms of unfinished pots, we have 8,000 extra lantodimes, 4,000 extra dwarf weeds, 7,000 catatimes, so I'll have to start farming those as well. And the Mortmire Fungus, we're only at 4,000. We need 37,000. So I guess that will be what I'll be doing soon. I'll have to go farm some Mortmire Fungus. And we have Marks of Grace here. Not enough for all of the Avento I have. And yeah, that's, that's about it for the herb. Uh, that's where we've, that's so far what we've used up. And yeah, we're just finishing off the ranging pots. And then we're going to have a bunch of extra potions that I'm still going to have to get secondaries for. All right, so to begin with, we'll just do a little review of my temple page here. So this is Temple OSRS. For those that don't know, Temple is a website that basically tracks your progress and forms data points that you can use to like, you know, see how well you're doing and compare your gains to other people. And yeah, basically it's a great way of tracking your progression. And yeah, so if you haven't seen Temple before, basically on the top you have your hours played. It's separated into EHP, Hardcore Ironman, and EHB, Hardcore Ironman, and Experience. There's three different categories here on the top, and it tells us our total hours as well as our current rank. So you can see we are rank 4 EHP at 8,947. So we're approaching 10,000. We'll hopefully get that within this year for sure, within, within a few months, hopefully. And EHB, we're almost at 2,000. Probably after I do my daily must bow, we'll be at 2,000 there. And we are rank 2 EHB. If you want to go into here, we can specifically look at the actual ladder here. So we are, uh, so we're rank two, we're about 500 hours over the rank three, and in this here column shows us how much we've been gaining per week. I think this is on a week basis, so currently we're on a 13 EHB week, and you can see there's only a few people really on this ladder that have gained any EHB this week, so a lot of inactive players uh, here, but yeah, rank two there, one day maybe we'll be rank one, but I don't know about that. We're quite a ways behind. And then EHP wise, we have, I'll just show you this quickly. We are rank four, but we're actually approaching 
rank 3 and only 200 hours away and yeah so we're on 100 ehp week and you know the two ranks above me are on 22 and 46 respectively so you know if we can keep that up we'll be passing them obviously i'm doing herbalore so it's kind of cheating it is banked experience and obviously it's a little skewed because you know the herbalore exp experience an hour the ehp rate is lower than it takes to actually make the herbs so if you bank a lot of herbs and then use them all at once you'll get a big boost of hours right anyways let's go back to the page i want to specifically focus on and that is the one month progression so far from january to february and overall we've gained 37 million experience and i will also note that there was about five or six days where we couldn't play our account if you uh if you don't live under a rock you've probably heard that we got locked out of our account for almost a week so no gains there had we not gotten locked out, it would be much, much higher. But it's all right. We got the account back with no issues and everything is safe. So it is all okay. We had 37 million experience with about 341 EHP last month. And we've gained a few combat, a few million in combat experience. The big one is the ranged experience, which is, which is all from the Phantom Muspa. And I'll show you the exact amount of KC we've gained so far since beginning what, two weeks ago. And then prayer experience. This is just from Slayer. I've been getting a bit from the Muspa. Recently, I got my Ectoplasmator, and it works on the Phantom Muspa. So I get about 170 prayer experience every Muspa kill. You know, I, if I do like 10,000 kills, that'll be like, what, a million experience, 1.7 million experience in prayer. So it, it could add up and, you know, end up, end up paying off for it could end up you know paying off in the long run and only took like 40 minutes to get the ex ectoplasmator from soul wars so if i kill enough muspa it'll be it'll be worth the time invested in getting that and then next we're looking at mage experience probably just from thralls and uh, i guess a few barrage tasks i don't really know what else i mage it's got to be just mostly from thralls and i guess a few tasks but mostly I haven't been doing that much Slayer. And then we're looking at cooking here. I guess I gained a bit of cooking. I must have cut some sturgeon. Uh, you know, not much there really to note. Some fletching. I did a bit of RC. And while I was doing RC, I could do fletching. I fletched some amethyst arrows, which I'll be using at the Muspa. And then some fishing. This is just all anglers. We've been doing some anglers when I really need to AFK. So that's mostly only anglers there. And then we have crafting, birdhouses, and mining anyways this is not much xp here to really talk about anything the big one we got to talk about is herbalore so as you can see from the previous bank video we had about what like 60 million 50 million herb experience in the bank if i use everything and so far this last month i did 22 million of that so we are well on our way to use all our herb supplies by the end of the year another 40 mil or so to use a lot of it is going to be in sturgeon cutting it up and using the caviar and the barbarian mixes so when i get to that it's not going to be as afk i'll have to actually focus on that and i won't be able to do that when i'm afking because it requires some uh, active clicking next up we have agility uh, i guess i did a bit of rd roofs at some point for some marks of grace maybe uh slayer yeah 1.6 million slayer that was at the very beginning of the month before muspa came out did a lot. I did a few Zuck tasks. We'll have a look and see what exactly I did PVM wise. But I recall doing some Zuck tasks as well as some Sire, as well as some Dagonoth Kings. And then farming, 2.4 million farming, all from just doing herb runs, as well as contracts. I don't do seaweed, I don't do tree runs. That is all from the herb runs. Not crazy. You know, during the day I work, so I can't really do farm runs but i can do one before work do one after work and do one before bed so i can do a few a day and it adds up and 240,000 room crafting there was one day after work where there was a snowstorm so i couldn't do pvm that day so i was just doing some rc for some death runes did some zmi just to get my rune supply up a little bit and then hunter from birdhouses 770k there and yeah so that totals 341 ehp in 30 days minus the five we were locked out of the account so hopefully next month we can see some better gains i mean the herbler will probably be much lower because i'm i have about used up all of the secondaries that i have 
I do still have brews, so that's going to be huge, but everything else I still have to go collect. I got to get my Mortmire fungus, I got to get my red spider eggs, as well as I have to acquire more bird nests, as well as zamia wines and potato cactus, white berries, a little bit of all those to complete herb. And yep, so that's the skilling side of things. Um, next up, we can look at our PVM overview, and this will be the last month. So we've gained 51 EHB in the last month, and 2,000 bosses have been slain, 366 of that being the Abyssal Sire, which we completed on exactly 3,000 KC. And next up, we have the Dagonoth Kings. I did about 150 of each, so I guess I did like three tasks so far. And then Criara, done 211 Criara, and we did get the skirt as well as the top. Next up is Serachnus, 111 Serachnus. Didn't do too many of that. Uh, just was trying to get a few red spider eggs because I was running low on the restore pots, the super restores. And then we did, what, four Zucks? So last month we did four Zucks through like two weeks of Slayer. And we also did some Solra, just so we get scales so we can do more Inferno. And then we did the big one, 485 Phantom Muspa. And that's probably over the last 10 days or so. And that sums it up for our PVM gains. 51 hours of EHB. So we're looking at 51 plus last month, 340. So around 392 total hours acquired onto the account last month. So I guess we'll compare that to February and see how well we do next month. Just on a little side note, if um, you're wondering here, you can see like the different icons on my temple profile, the Infernal Cape owner, you know, Max Cape, um, hardcore in my location, uh, as well as I have this baguette, which was the icon that I had chose for the bingo that I won, um, I guess like two years ago. Two years ago, we had a Olympus Halloween bingo and I had won that, and that was the icon that I choose. Basically, the clan can choose like one bingo a year that the winner, the winning team, can have uh, their temple profiles have a little icon to you know show that they won. Just a cool little thing that temple offers. And yeah, that specific bingo I had won, and that was the icon that I chose. So I'm talking about this because I actually have a bingo coming up next week i think the draft is this week but the actual bingo doesn't start until like a week after the draft obviously now i can't play as much as i used to i in the past bingos i would always play like as you know 16 hour plus days i wasn't working and i was just studying so i had a lot of time to like sleep dep and you know play quite a bit this upcoming bingo you know i'm working full time so we'll be doing the three hour days but We'll still be trying to, you know, win. And if we do manage to win that bingo, I'm sure there'll maybe be an icon that will add to our collection. So that's also a little motivation to win getting that icon. And yeah, so I believe it's a like 10 day or something bingo. Usually it's 10 days and there are three teams with three captains and three co-captains. And they just draft from a list of players that sign up. It's a lot different than most bingos. Most bingos are all about RNG, whereas this one is specifically about the hours you put in or the hours that are on the board. So it's all about whatever team can put the most efficient hours, you know, into the game. And yeah, it's it's a little different from the normal bingos you guys are probably familiar with, where, you know, you get a rare drop and that counts as points. This is nothing to do with drops. This is about uh, XP gains and like hours done bossing and stuff like that, all based on hours played. So uh, if you want to hear more about that bingo, let me know. I can you know do a separate ramble where we talk about the bingo progress and how that's going. We can do a little review of the teams and all that. If you want to see that, let me know. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to quickly cover that. Because, uh, you know, bingo is a very soon, and my plans for bingo are going to be probably some herbalore. Use all that toad flax I had showed you, as well as probably to uh, just do EHB, the EHB tiles, so just kill bosses. Mostly probably the muspa, just kill the muspa and do herbalore. Pretty uh, non-eventful bingo for me, but that's uh, exactly what I want to do in-game. That's why I like this sort of bingo, is because I'm not, fo I'm not forced to go like grind easy clues or do beginner clues for some some god books or something 
in, in this bingo, I am doing what I want to do for the entire time. There's not really much else to show. I'll do a separate video where we talk about the Phantom Muspa and what we've gotten from that. This is just going to be the one month update, basically showing you the bank and what we've, you know, used up. It's really just the herb so far. Um, you know, we have acquired a few more Infernal Capes. That's about it. We got a bunch, a few more rings as well. But yeah, that's, that's it for the short little update. I've started doing clues again, so we've gotten a few uniques from the Elite Clues. Mostly, I've been doing Elites. I also got a Mimic KC this month because I actually rolled a Mimic on one of the Elites. So that also we did, and... Yeah, this is my tab of just random clue crap and stuff I don't want to organize. So these are our, this was our unique. So we got a, we got a clog slot from the clues and we'll keep doing clues as we continue on uh, this year. And coming out soon will be the Phantom Muspa update video where I will talk about if I enjoy the boss, what I think of it. We'll go over the loot and as well as we'll cover what I've gotten so far from it. And, you know, if I think it's balanced or not, that sort of thing, we'll be covering the Phantom Must Plus. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe and tune in to, yeah, in the next video. Uh, if you liked the video, also leave a like. And, you know, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.